Hey, what's up guys, Amari again, uh, going over uh, uh, some of my new trades that I, that I did today. I did short at Facebook and Google, and this is a different type of trade. This is not a low hanging fruit type of trade, but this is overall high beta, uh, high uh, VIX, high volatility type of trade. And I'm gonna explain this trade and why this trade works. Um, and it has to do with the sentiment, it has to do with uh, what's going on with uh, the coronavirus. The US reported, I believe 500,000 new cases of coronavirus uh, victims in one week, which is the record this year. So things are not looking so hot. There's no stimulus package. Uh, and it looks like a lot of states are gonna start uh, shutting down uh, businesses or closing restaurants and things like that. Like they're gonna be more locked down. So things do not look good. Uh, so sentiment was really bad. Uh, so I'm gonna explain to you uh, that trade and how those type of trades work. And uh, so let's get started. All right, let's go. Let me share my screen and let's get started. All right, so why did this trade work? Uh, so the first thing uh, I wanna kind of go over and explain uh, what's going on overall the market. Um, on, uh, what's, what was this day? October 26, um, there was a huge sell-off and a lot had to do with uh, what was going on and, and of course no stimulus package being approved. And also there was rumors or actually uh, the European Union was uh, looking into locking down uh, again. Uh, so this huge sell-off, it broke a key level, 340. So once it broke that, I myself was getting worried. Not only that, but the VIX was also up like 20% on this day, October 26. It broke over this, this 30. So things were not looking so good. So that gave me a sign that, hey, there's gonna probably give me a pullback. I actually sold um, like um, half of my portfolio, especially in stocks that I was profitable. I took some risk off the table. I didn't want to get hit on a drawdown in case there's a huge sell off. And I'm glad I did because there was a huge gap down. The market was is, is down like 3% right now. So that was the right move. So why does this trade work? So again, uh, overall it has to do with sentiment and what's going on uh, with the market. Uh, and these type of trades, you have to look at um, high beta stocks like uh, the banks, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google or you gotta look at the VIX or VIX uh, type of ETFs like UVXY or DXX. And the reason why I knew there was gonna be a place because I did see in the morning in my scanners, I noticed UVX, UVXY and also DXX up over 5%. I believe they were up like 10% and there was huge volume pre-market. So that gave me a, a, that was like a red flag to me. You know what, there's gonna be a sell-off, there's gonna be more sell-off continuation. So I'm gonna start looking into uh, either UVXY um, VXX or some of the things to go short. Now, I also want to mention, guys, that these type of these type of days uh, sometimes for uh, beginner traders, um, you're better off not even trading because uh, these are the days that a lot of traders, especially beginners, uh, lose big money because they do not understand what's going on. Uh, they still continue to trade, like for example, low hanging fruit, especially on the long side, uh, even though there was a nice setup the day before. Uh, and they feel, hey, you know what? There was a nice move the day before. Let me go low hanging fruit. But when the market sells off, it pulls down everything. Everything go goes down with it, guys. So that's the reason why those trades don't tend to work on these days. So the edge is looking at the market in high beta. The edge is looking into uh, where the market is going to head in the overall macro picture. So let's take a look at Facebook and, uh, and Google. So I started with, uh, I was actually going to short, I mean, I was actually going to go along UVXY. Uh, but uh, interactive brokers actually, uh, they, they did not allow to uh, uh, trade UVXY. I think they're protecting their, their accounts. I think they had some uh, blowouts uh, like a couple months ago. Uh, so I mean, my goal was to kind of get in on, on some on a pullback, you know, on like a pullback like this and go long. But again, I couldn't trade it. So, so I kind of missed an opportunity um, to, to kind of this move. Um, and it, you know, it happened. So I had to move into Facebook and Google. Um, and so I looked at uh, Facebook and I actually missed a pretty, de pretty decent trade here. So this is the first trade that I missed uh, because I was looking into like U of X, Y and VXS to get in. But, you know, what happens? This could have been a, 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 good, a good trade right here. Again, the market selling off. There was a consolidation and there was break of this uh, little wedge, uh, little bear flag uh, to new lows. So that was a trade that I missed there. But like I always mention, guys, hey, when you miss the first trade, there's usually a second trade. Um, that, is, that is usually the case. So that's what I was like, you know, there's got to be a second trade, so let's wait. 
So um, I, my original thought process was like, hey, I'm gonna try to enter here. If uh, Facebook pulls back to uh, this pivot level, uh, S2 pivot level, 273.17, I wanna get in short um, so we can get a pullback down to um, S3. So it, it kind of pulled back, but then it started to kind of consolidate here and started to sell. So I decided to get small shares uh, to get in a little bit early and hopefully we, we continue to sell off. But it started to kind of hold and it started to trend up. So I cut half of that position. I didn't close it all um, in case it, it did pull back over here and I got in full size over here. Uh, so it pulled back to 273. Uh, but did not hit the, the pivot level S2, uh, and I was actually kind of upset about that because that could have been a really good trade. Um, in the future, because uh, this is the, not the first time this happened to me, in the future, I'm going to just start rounding these things. If I would have put it, uh, my order at 273, I would have gotten uh, filled. So uh, that's something that, that, I, that I'm, I'm you know, calling myself out right now because um, it's happened more than once already. So uh, that would have been a really nice trade because it literally faded all day here. So um, I was looking for to kind of get out of this uh, S2 pivot level, but it, it kind of held it created a uh, higher low. Um, and I noticed the market was kind of bouncing. So, hey, I took up a trade. I made a little bit of money in this one. And I wasn't really happy with it because um, overall, Facebook was acting a little bit weird. It was creating um, a lot of these wick candles on the 15 minute chart. And I was not liking this. I felt like it was my, it could have been a squeeze above VWAP. So I didn't want to get squeezed out. So I took a little bit of profits and decided to look elsewhere. And that's the reason why I decided to take a look at Google. So I noticed Google was kind of consolidating um, better. It, it, it had a, a, a nicer consolidation. And I was looking for a midday uh, type of bear flag. Uh, to break below um, the lows and, and, and actually fill in this gap. So there's a gap right here on, on Google right here. So I was looking for it to break down and, and kind of hit this level, which is 1511 and kind of fill this, this gap right here. So that's, that was kind of my thought process in that. So I got in at, um, I got in once uh, it, it, it broke uh, below this, uh, um, this uh, wedge. So it's more like a bear flag type of trade. Uh, and again, the market was, was continued to sell off. So let me just kind of show you the market. So I got in, I got in, I got in at Google when, around this time. So the market just started to sell off. So that's the reason why I went short Google. And I actually added, I added, I added, even though there was a, even though there was a pullback here, I actually added because to me it was like, hey, you know, I got a chance to get in some uh, shares at a decent price on, on, on Google. Uh, because again, Google's a, a high beta, a high beta type of stock. When the market moves, Google moves with it. So to me, this was an opportunity to kind of get in at a better price and increase my average and, and, and increase my size. So I was pretty much uh, all sized in right here and I started to take some profits. My initial target was, was actually uh, at the low days once 1517, but I did notice uh, uh, 1518 kind of holding. So I decided to take half um, it doesn't hurt. Raised my stop to my average was around 15.21, and I decided to take another half at, at 15.17 because I noticed that the market was kind of reversing a little bit. So when I took that second half, the market was already here, so it was kind of bouncing already. So you know what? I was like, I'd rather take another half. It doesn't hurt, and I'll I'll let the rest. Um, and raise my stop and let the rest uh, as it's kind of like a lot of type of trade. If it again it pulls back to uh, 1511, that'll be nice. And I'll take the profit right here at this level. Uh, but it didn't, it pulled back and I got stopped out of my, in my average. So that was that, that was that. And I was, I was overall happy with this trade. I'm glad I took the second half because um, you know, I didn't feel that, you know, the market was going to pull back again. I'm never 100% sure because sometimes the market looks like it's going to bounce, but it doesn't. It continues to sell off. That's the reason why I, I left a little bit lot of uh, shares in case we get a, a bigger move to the downside and fill that gap on, on Google. So again, I'm, I'm happy I, I took this trade. I'm happy I covered twice. So I covered half here and I covered another half here. And I really only left a small amount of shares uh, open that, that took me out. And, and then the reason why I left my stop here is because I wanted some wiggle room for it to kind of bounce around and hopefully downtrend. Uh, Cause sometimes with, when it comes out to, to stocks like this, that the downtrend, it just not, it doesn't really downtrend straight down. It always kind of bounces around, then consolidates and moves down, et cetera. So you have to give it a wiggle room. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, 
you know, I hope you guys learned something from this video. Again, these, these are a uh, type of uh, high beta type of uh, 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 trades uh, where you have to look at the VIX, how it's moving. You have to look at the market, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, how they're moving and um, overall market condition, overall market sentiment. sentiment. When there's high volatility, everything moves. Every single stock tends to get affected, uh, some more than the others. And the fangs, the high betas are the ones that get affected more. So that's where the edge is. And that's the reason why I traded Facebook and Google. All right, guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you find some value. I'll see you to the next one time, guys. Have a good one.